Okay, so I've extended my mine by this bit. So what I'm going to do is, because the floor is cobblestone over here, I'm going to dig up the floor over that side and wheel it down. As you can see, I've put down the track that I was talking about in a previous video um, off camera. Because obviously I can't do everything while I'm recording. see where the spider spawner is. Things come back. Mm. Right, hopefully I don't have just that cobble and to get back. Uh, and then just start picking up the floor and laying down the cobblestone. Um, I've not done it too far down because I ran out of smooth stone to be honest and I need to make more. So that'll be a case of taking a bunch of stone to my big furnace room upstairs and sorting that out. My big furnace room is on the third floor in my um, sorting room but I'm gonna need a bigger sorting room because when I first made that sorting room I hadn't expected to have this world for over a year and um, which I have um, because before I used to just like make a world play it for a while get bored and then make another one uh, and I'm quite surprised that I've actually managed to last this long uh, other world but anytime I get bored I just try and find something else to make. Um, so this last thing I made was my bank uh, which I still think might be a little bit too small so depending on how long I manage to keep this world uh, I might have to make a bigger bank uh, because I do like having all the diamonds and the iron and the lapis and everything else um, on display uh, instead of just sitting in a box somewhere, like like making it part of the aesthetic. Obviously, once this is extended, I'll extend the redstone railway. dig out your coal because you never know if you'll find diamonds nearby. The amount of times I've just been digging out coal just for the sake of digging out coal and not actually been looking for diamonds when I find them has been ridiculous so I just make it easy on myself to dig them out. About making a abandoned mine style with um, the coal blocks in it, so like the miners have dug out all this coal and then maybe they've just had to leave it or what have you. Like I come from a mining village um, in Scotland, so obviously there aren't any miners anymore, but it used to be a big thing around here. Uh, and a lot, a lot of them died back in the day. It's a very dangerous job. Quick and easy. Says, I don't know if I'm going to try and make this bit look better. Like I like the smooth stone and I love the cobblestone in plastic texture pack. The reason I use the plastic texture pack is because uh, the classic texture pack um, gives me motion sickness. I don't know why. Like um, When I'm a passenger in a vehicle, whether it's a car, bus, plane, train, anything apart from a motorbike, I get motion sickness. Uh, one of those things of life and for some reason in Minecraft whenever you use the classic texture pack now you get motion sickness. So can't be helped. I mean it 
it's not exactly super fast like the blue ice hopefully is, but it's faster than a uh, faster than it was previously. That lever does absolutely nothing. Yeah. Uh, and this one's gonna lead up here. I put this in yesterday off camera as well. Obviously, it still needs to be finished. Uh, I might do something nice for the balls on either side of this one as well. Um, leads to my 100 block marker. Oh, not quite. I'll fix that in a minute. Um, yeah. Why is there redstone lamps in here? I did not remember putting these in, but okay. Um, like I was saying in my previous video, the 100 blocks, uh, I mine 100 blocks in each direction, go two down and then mine 100 blocks back to the beginning. So this bit will mark a sort of 100 block area and then I'm making a little base, like a little mini base storage, what have you, up this end so I don't need to keep going all the way back to my original mine base um, to get stuff or store stuff and then uh, I'll start doing another 100 blocks that way and so on and so forth. I might even like dig these out and give it the same look as I have down there with the smooth stone and the cobblestone or I might try a different look for every 100 block mile I get so you know change it up a little bit I don't want every area looking exactly the same Maybe get a mine cart with a chest in it to move my stuff back and forward. But we'll see how it goes. I've got a long way yet. Might as well place these torches down here while we're talking. See if this turns the rails off. It does not. It's pointless. Looks cool though, with the lighty up redstone there. You know. I think I made a redstone sugarcane farm once, uh, and I had to watch the video but I how many times to do it, and then I messed it up so many times, and I eventually got it right. That is not in this world, that is, uh, it was in one of my previous worlds that I was trying it out. Um, and it did work pretty well, so I might make another one of those in this world. I'm not sure, I've got obviously a lot to, a lot to do in this world. to sort out a cobblestone storage system. I 
because my storage um, upstairs, my storage room, uh, is basically full of the cobblestone, cobblestone coming out the wazoo so I might make a dedicated um, like cobblestone, andersite, granite etc uh, etc et um, area to store all the basic building blocks. It says diorite's not nice. Looks pretty good in plastic. Nice. Probably get slated for that by whoever likes a certain YouTuber who hates diorite, but for now. That's me just now. I need to go do some homeschooling with my nine-year-old. 